Michael, we're only one match into the season, but it already feels like we're a club in crisis. Well, there's a simple answer. We are a club in crisis. Uh, and we all know the reason why. We have an inept and, frankly, a useless ownership who know little about this game of football. Everyone knows that we need new ownership of this football club. And that is my aim. Those are my objectives. I'm making good progress. I continue to talk to the people. I've got some good pledges with good finance. We are now working on the offer document. Remember, John, it's a hostile bid. That simply means the club isn't officially for sale. But my intention is to present these owners with a legitimate and potent and proper commercial offer to say, you've run out of road, it's time to go. Because your time is up. And frankly, the fans worldwide have had enough of this regime. The exciting feeling of a new season, which we all have, and that balloon of excitement is there, but it was quickly burst when we saw the performance against Brighton. Uh, quite honestly, the Lionesses, we could have played them, and I, th I think they'd have got a better result. The club is in crisis, John. And it will remain in crisis whilst ever we've got this current ownership. That's the situation. It's quite important to have a conversation about what I call the Glazers fan share scheme because the way I see it, I think you do as well, is that all it's going to do is keep the Glazers in power indefinitely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, with all respect to Must, but this Glazer share scheme, which Must are supporting, is, again, frankly, a hollow scheme. It's a sop to the fans. It's not a real meaningful shareholding. And I will retract all my comments if I see the Glazers say, there's a block of shares, it's 25.1%, as a, not necessarily a gift, but there's a block of shares in the hands of fans to use at their will to block any initiative that the whole fan group are unhappy with. That I could understand. For me, the share scheme is a must-stroke Glazer initiative. And I can't support any mechanism which is going to be seen to be keeping this current ownership in power. Because we need to rid our football club of this ownership. Because, as I say, they've had their day. The time has run out. We've had 17 years of disappointment, really. And it's time for them to go. They have to stop drawing these huge dividends out of the club. We have to stop paying these huge debt servicing costs. It's time for them to sell. I'm putting this bid together, I don't need to be the frontist person. I don't need to be the spokesperson. I just want to see our Manchester United football club in the hands of proper football people with proper vision. We need to repair our stadium. We need to put our club back where it belongs. Instead of these also rounds, as I say, we are in crisis and it won't alter until they go. This must initiative with the share seam, so called, is a road to nowhere. It's just going to keep the existing owners in power. That's why I'm putting this hostile bid together. I'm speaking to the right people. We've got some good people on board and we will make a formal hostile bid. And with your hostile bid, you're promising that the fans will have a minimum of 25.1% of the shares. Obviously the fan share scheme proposed by the Glazers is to buy shares that they kind of control really. Is it important, do you think, that the must members don't get behind that fan share scheme and wait for your consortium? Absolutely. My advice is this. Look, wait till 
you have got a proper offer on the table of having a proper, legitimate, a potent shareholding of a minimum percentage out of the issued share capital of at least 25.1%, which is your voting block and the Memorandum and Articles of Association it can be written in that that share block can prevent any initiative put forward by the Board of Directors that that block of shares does not agree with. Hence the European Super League, just for an obvious example. Hence other developments. People may, may not want to relocate from Old Trafford. I certainly wouldn't be in favour of relocating from the Great Old Trafford. So that power block of fan ownership is essential for me. And until I can see that, I believe the current share scheme is a simp it's a smoke screen, really, to keep the current owners in situ. And my advice to anyone is wait until you have a proper opportunity to buy a proper block of shares, which gives you real power. This current scheme does not do that, in my view. By all means, take your own separate legal independent, legal advice and financial advice. You must do that. But the shareholding gives the fans, frankly, nothing. And on Sunday, we saw another big protest by the fans when they did a, a circuit of the stadium and came back in front of the mega store. The mega store actually closed down because that was a reaction to seeing so many fans protesting against the mega store being open. How important is it, you think, for these protests to carry on? It's inevitable, John, that fans are going to protest because of the frustration, because of the disappointment. What else can they do but show their disappointment with these protests? The protests are brilliantly organised. They're peaceful. That's very important. No one would support violence. These are peaceful protests by the fans simply saying, look, we want change. Preferably, we want regime change. So, yes, the protests will continue. That is inevitable until they bring about what everyone wants which is change. So the message, the final message from you then, I guess, for the, for the fans who are looking forward to the Manchester United versus Liverpool game, our next home match, you expect them to be back protesting? Of course, they will protest, uh, and quite rightly. It's the only way they can vent their frustration and disappointment and hope that the current ownership sit up and finally listen and ultimately decide to sell their shareholding. My consortium is ready and waiting the funds are pledged, the offer document is being drawn up, and it will be presented, John. We're still waiting for the great Sir Jim Ratcliffe to come forward because he solves all our problems, makes my job redundant. But until Jim comes, my consortium will be placing their bid very shortly. That I guarantee.